Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug dimenhydrinate, also known by the brand names Gravol, Dramamine, and others. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Dimenhydrinate belongs to the antiemetic and antihistamine drug classifications. Dimenhydrinate is used to prevent and treat nausea and vomiting. It is also used to prevent and treat vertigo or dizziness of motion sickness. How dimenhydrinate helps with nausea, its exact mechanism of action, is not fully understood. However, we do know that dimenhydrinate separates into two components. The first is diphenhydramine, which is commonly known by the brand name Benadryl, and the second is 8-chlorothiophyllin. For this lesson, we'll just focus on the diphenhydramine part. The reason being is that it is thought that diphenhydramine is responsible for the anti-nausea or the anti-emetic effects of dimenhydrinate. Now, there's two very quick topics we'll cover to help us understand how diphenhydramine works as an anti-emetic. Let's learn how nausea is regulated in the body. The first topic is histamine. Histamine is a very important compound produced in the body that helps regulate all sorts of physiological functions. It can act as a neurotransmitter in the brain, for example, and it also plays a role in the vestibular system, which is our second topic. The vestibular system is a system in the brain that is responsible for providing the brain with information about balance, motion, head position, spatial orientation, and more. Disruption of the vestibular system can lead to loss of balance, vertigo, and nausea. So what's important to remember here is that nausea is in part regulated by histamine. Now let's go back to that diphenhydramine and how it works as an antiemetic. What diphenhydramine does is it blocks or antagonizes histamine receptors in the vestibular system. This is thought to help in the treatment and prevention of nausea. There is also anticholinergic activity, which is thought to help with nausea as well, but we won't get into that in this video. Just some of diamondhydronate's possible side effects include hypotension or low blood pressure, drowsiness, dry mouth, constipation, and more. Avoid use of diamondhydronate in those with hypersensitivities to diamondhydronate or any of its components, including diphenhydramine. Also, avoid use with CNS depressants, including alcohol and other antihistamines, in patients with glaucoma, chronic lung disease, pregnancy, or an enlarged prostate, unless directed by the healthcare provider. Due to diamondhydronate's risk of causing drowsiness, avoid driving or operating heavy machinery while taking the medication. Diamondhydronate is often given orally at 25 to 100 milligrams every four to six hours, but it can also be given intramuscularly and intravenously. Chewable tablets are also available for children. Keep in mind that diamondhydronate has a relatively short duration of about four to eight hours. And that's about it for the basics of diamondhydronate. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, Please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.